It was a special weekend for mm -hmm. one family. A Minnesota boy had quite the day at the Gopher Hawkeye game Saturday. 12 year old Bentley Erickson was born with a rare medical condition and was named kid captain of the game. And it was a thriller. Gophers won in the end as Ellen Gallus shows us watching his two favorite teams go head to head was really meaningful for Bentley. For one Minnesota family, so many people gave him high fives. So many people cheered him on as we walked through the stands. The matchup between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Minnesota Gophers over the weekend was much more than a game. How big was Saturday? What is he? Was it the the best day ever? The best day ever. Meet 12-year-old Bentley Erickson from Brainerd, Minnesota, the kid captain of Saturday's game. Bentley was born in Iowa with a range of complex medical conditions. He spent the first four months of his life at the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital, which overlooks the Hawkeyes football stadium. He had 10 surgeries there. His family eventually moved to the Twin Cities to be closer to his doctors at Gillette Children's. Saturday, he was on the field and even in the locker room as his two favorite football teams faced off. But you can tell who he was really rooting for. Go the most profound moment was during what is a tradition at Iowa home games. The fans at Kinnick Stadium always waved to the patients and their families at the Children's Hospital overlooking the field. Bentley has been there. And so it was especially meaningful not to be. Do you think that they know that you love them? Yeah. Yeah, and you were cheering for them? Yeah. Yeah. We all know how this game ended Saturday, but for Bentley and his family, it was not the score that mattered. I can't tell you how much time we've spent alone thinking, how are we ever going to do this? And for the, that one day, it just felt like the whole world was on our side. Bentley has been a patient here at Gillette Children's since 2015, but his condition has stabilized to the point where he no longer has to live so close to the hospital. He can do a lot of his therapy remotely from where his family now lives in Brainerd, and he still makes regular visits down here to the Twin Cities to meet with his doctors in person. Reporting in St. Paul, Ellen Gallus, 5 Eyewitness News.